If you talk about Africa, there's not a lot of optimism around the world. But I just think that we definitely uh, are showing the world with this project. So Lichtbron e-learning project, uh, we started that because we saw the need for specialist teachers in mathematics and science in our country. So we have a lot of rural schools that, it's, that is very far from, from a certain town and they don't have uh, all the resources that is in schools that is very fortunate. Um, and as well the teachers there, uh, they are not trained in mathematics and science as well as all the other teachers because they are very rural mm -hmm. and a lot of teachers don't want to go to the rural areas. So we just thought if we can connect it, uh, all the schools by using the smart board and the Bridget, we can then interact between the, the teachers and the children. So what we are doing then, um, there's a presenter, uh, a leading teacher we call it, and she's leading the presentation on the math or the science. So um, during that hour we're doing it, we connect all the schools through the Bridget and then the teacher starts to um, present a lesson. It's, um, it's like a summary of a previous week's work. So uh, when she's doing it, the children have uh, a mi microphone. If they got questions, they just put on the microphone and ask a question and they can come up to the board. We urge them to come to the smart board, they write on it, they question or the teacher write down um, like a small task for them and they come to the board and answer the question. The children are, every day they go home, they're working with electronics, they're working with the cell phones and it's, um, you know, it's cell phones and playstations. And now in school they're working with a blackboard. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's just not a balance, there's no balance. So by putting in the smart technologies, now the children uh, and the teachers on the same level. You know, you, you teach through education technology and that make a change and, um, and more than that is it's the upliftment of our rural teachers. You know, while they're using the technology, um, and at the end it's not only about the technology, but while they're using the technology, it, in the same time it uplifts their standard of teaching. Our grade 12 is the last year of secondary school. Our grade 12, we want uh, the grade 12 results. I mean, the result is very poor in the rural schools, especially. You can think for yourself if the teachers are not adequate to, to, to present the lessons in the same way as in, in a school where the teachers are, are doing it for 10 or 20 years. So now that teachers as well, they learn, we learn from each other. So the grade 12 results went up a lot. In some of our schools, uh, uh, it went up with a percentage of about 35%. There's not many schools that's doing this. And coming from, from Africa, we are very proud of it. And definitely, uh, we can see it the last three years, four years that we are busy, but there's a remarkable change.